They're going to get a shot here. Final seconds. Bryant for the win. Bang! Mike Krzyzewski was going to be the guy. It could have been his job. Yeah, he passed on it. Here goes Colby, and Colby's able to put one in. The shot clock expires. It's only fitting that the guy who got the shot clock at five. Bryant head fake. Pull it up. Puts it in. Kobe Bryant with 37. And it's back to four. Again, the shot fake after he picks up the dribble. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to an extra special legend build video. Today we have the late, great Kobe Bryant. Of course, Kobe passed about two months ago. Extremely sad, extremely tragic. A lot of people posted videos about it. I decided to just completely stay away from it out of respect for Kobe. I didn't want to be looked at as, you know, oh, you're trying to get clout off of the Kobe tragedy and nothing like that. You guys know every year I do a Kobe Bryant build video. It's only appropriate that we honor this legend with a legend build video. Now let's get right into it. So you're going to see this is originally my Miami LeBron build. That's why you see facilitating finisher LeBron James. But if you guys remember, this build is six foot six. Now, if you had made this build as a shooting guard, it would have been called a scoring machine. But since we made it a small forward originally, because we were looking at, you know, a Miami LeBron that could shoot a little bit better, it's called a facilitating finisher. But the attributes and the badges themselves, once I hit legend, I'm looking at, I'm like, this looks way more like a Kobe build than a LeBron build. So you're going to see, look at all the finishing badges. Plus, you guys know Kobe used to love to go in the post and, and just muscle people around down there. So we got a Hall of Fame back down Punisher on. And the shooting badges on this build, it's, it's just so Kobe-esque in terms of the shot making ability. I mean, look at this. Of course, Hall of Fame difficult shots. You got to have it. The Green Machine, the Hot Zone Hunter, Quick Draw, Range Extender. It's Kobe. Of course, we got the Volume Shooter, Gold Deadeye. Honestly, you, I would even crank up the Deadeye to Hall of Fame because, listen, I want the Corner Specialist on because when you shoot off dribbles and post fades, Corner Specialist helps a lot on the baseline. But let's take off the catch and shoot, go Hall of Fame Deadeye, and then we keep the bronze deep fades to help with the post fades. I mean, it's a perfect badge set up for Kobe. Now, playmaking badges, they only go up to gold, but look at how many you can get. You have all the shot creating, shot making, sh space creating badges like Space Creator, Stop and Go, Ankle Breaker, all that type of stuff. Then I even left on bronze dream shake. I don't really know if it does anything, but since it's Kobe, you know, Kobe always had those arrays of pump fakes and step throughs in the post. So we kept that on as well. And we still get 11 defensive badges. So, you know, we're going gold clamps, gold intimidator, gold tireless interceptor and chase down both on bronze. Now, one thing I think I want to switch is I'm going to turn down tireless and put on rim protector because just having rim protector on bronze enables you to be able to get snatch blocks. Now, it's not very likely, but you can get it once in a while, even on players with low rated blocks. But as you can see, 30 finishing, 30 shooting, all of them go up to Hall of Fame, 84 three pointer, contact dunk, six foot six. It's the perfect legend Kobe Bryant build, man. So drop a like on the video. Let's start to get into some gameplay. As you're gonna see, we load into the park, right? I open up the, the map and I see they're on a five game win streak. So I'm like, all right, so we might be able to get, you know, a decent little first game in. Of course, we got a VIP them off the spot. You can be mad at me all you want. Listen, I grinded to legend. Mamba mentality, no mercy. Take them off the court. This dude flops. I'm like, are they gonna play us? They step on the court. We got ourselves a game. Let's get right into it. So since it's a Kobe Bryant legend build video, of course I got to ISO. I got to take him into the post. I got to take him off the dribble. I got to be throwing down. I got to be shooting threes, shooting off dribbles. I got to be shooting an array of shots. So I want a lockdown to be spotting up in the corner for me while I'm ISOing. So I'm thinking like, you know, well, if I went with a big man, I could go with Shaq or Gasol as my teammate, something like that. If I go with a ball hand, I go with like a Lamar Odom. But I got a lock in the corner, so who could I go with? It was either Trevor Ariza or Ron Artest, aka Metal World Peace. My boy Swag went with Ron Artest, and man, the face creation. My Kobe face creation looks really, really good, but that Ron Artest face creation looks really good. Plus, you know, he's got the built body type, so it just looks really good. Now, one thing I will mention, we got the long sleeve Laker shirts on because I don't know why 2K has not added a Kobe Bryant jersey to the store yet. In wake of everything that happened, 
how do we not have a Kobe Bryant jersey available? You know, at least just to to honor him, like, listen, anyone that wants a Kobe jersey could go pick one up at the NBA store. They've yet to put one in the NBA store. I, I don't understand. So unfortunately, we couldn't complete like the authenticity of the video by wearing the jerseys. We had to just go with the long sleeve shirts. I know it's a small detail, but I just wanted to mention it because it bothers me. I like to make the videos as authentic as possible. And the fact that we can't wear the jerseys kind of takes away from it a little, but I still wanted to bring you this video because I'm looking at this build and I'm like, listen, six foot six with an 84 three pointer contact dunks can ISO like crazy 95 post fade hall of fame shooting badges. I'm like, this is literally the perfect Kobe Bryant build. The only thing before I hit legend, I was like, Kobe Bryant made the all defensive first team first team all defense nine times it's that's tied for an nba record with i think gary payton michael jordan maybe one other person but he's he's tied for the most first team all defensive selection so to make it a kobe bill with only one defensive badge it, to me it just doesn't add up but now that we're legend we got 11 we could go gold clamps gold intimidator all those all those types of badges i'm like damn it really is a beautiful kobe build that's why i waited till i hit legend to kind of transform it into a Kobe build because although you can play defense with one defensive badge, I mean, I did it all year until I hit legend on my LeBron build. You guys know I only have one defensive badge. I play defense just fine, but I just wanted to make it more authentic, especially when it came to Kobe, because let's say Kobe's got a, Kobe's got a, a soft spot in my heart because when I was growing up, Kobe Bryant was, he was the man. He was the face of the NBA. He was my favorite player by a mile. Now, obviously that's changed as time has gone on. But he was the one I looked up to. He was the one that, to me, set the standard, set the example of how you're supposed to play the game, which is another reason why every single year I always do a Kobe build. You guys remember last year I did the post-scoring shot creator. It was super glitchy, super unique Kobe build. And that's why this year I wanted to wait until I hit, you know, legend to really show off this Kobe build. Now, like I said, it's called the facilitating finisher because I made it at small forward originally because I was trying to make a different version of my LeBron build. But if you make this exact build, the shooting, the finishing at shooting guard, it will be called a scoring machine. Now, some people go 6'5 on this build so that you get more ball handling, a little bit higher three pointer. But for the most part, I mean, even at 6'6, six, six, the build's super glitchy. I mean, an 84 three pointer is more than enough to be shooting consistently. Like I said, a 95 post fade with Hall of Fame uh, difficult shots and dead eye. You could throw on deep fades. You know, you're shooting off dribbles, post fades, spin jumpers, hop jumpers, deep three pointers. You're dunking on people offensively the build is so versatile which is why i really feel like it's a kobe build because kobe offensively could do everything you know he had no weaknesses in terms of his offensive ability he could shoot the three ball take you into the post out muscle you in my opinion kobe bryant is the the best tough shot maker in nba history you know like in the game they have the, the badge difficult shots whatever but like in real basketball like shooting tough shots difficult shot impossible shots in my opinion kobe's the best at it if you need someone you know to hit a fade away over three people if you need someone to pump fake pump fake reverse pivot step through fade away and one kobe would be shooting turnaround three pointers with his left hand post fades with his left hand he was the best tough shot maker now that did affect his field goal percentage at times you know he would shoot a bunch of tough shots and it wouldn't always go in but in terms of making tough shots you guys have seen i'm sure you guys have seen the highlights like you know he would catch the ball pick his dribble up shot clock winding down he would hit him with like three pump fakes defender wouldn't bite and he would just rise up fade away over him and just knock down a like a cold-blooded three-pointer did it so many times in his career and that's why one reason i feel when this build hit legend and i got the 10 more shooting badges then it really became a kobe build because that allowed me to not only have you know the essential badges in the game like quick draw range extender all that but then it allowed me to go you know difficult shots hall of fame throw on dead eye hall of fame deep fades all that type of stuff that then allows you to really start making some you know making some shots that you're not supposed to make but as you guys have seen from this gameplay, I mean, you can do, offensively, you can do everything. You got contact dunks, you can speed boost once you get a little bit of takeover, you shoot the deep ball, take them into the post, bully them, shoot the post fade, shoot off dribble mid, spin jumpers, hop jumpers, everything offensively is in play here. Look at drop step in the smaller guard. Everything offensively is in play. 
to me, the perfect legend Kobe Bryant build. The only thing is, you know, if you make it as shooting guard instead of small forward, it'll say scoring machine as opposed to facilitating finisher, which is obviously a better name for a Kobe Bryant build. Scoring machine is probably the perfect name actually for a Kobe build. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'm out. Peace.